Now you'd think between English speaking countries we'd be able to understand each other. Well that's clearly not the case. Now take a Canadian roadie uh, as a, uh, someone from down under. Now there's clearly a few issues. First of all we're driving around looking for somewhere to fill up. Now there's heaps and heaps of gas stations but our vehicle doesn't run on gas. But eventually we did find a petrol station. Then there's all these places that don't mean what they say, like there's restrooms and, um, and bathrooms. I mean, we'd been uh, <coughs> travelling for a while and uh, I you know, felt like a bit of a rest, so I grabbed a pillow and went out to the restroom. But do you think I could find anywhere to lay down anywhere? No. Then a few days into the trip, I was um, felt like freshening up a bit, so I grabbed a, a towel and a, and a bar of soap and headed to the nearest bathroom. But do you think I could find a bath? No. And then, when I was really, really busting to go, do you think I could find a place where it said toilet? No. And now, don't get me started on powder rooms. Now, the other day, um, I was um, saw this lady walking up to her car with a bag of groceries, and I said, well, look, can I help you put them in your boot? She looked at me, and she looked down at her shoes, and she said, are you some kind of nutter? You know, well... <sighs> I guess it's one of those things, I mean, from down under, I mean, who came up with the name boot for, uh, for a trunk? So then I uh, obviously been talking about my book, My Senior Gap Year, and I always find whenever I mention the name Senior Gap Year, I'd get this sort of glazed look over people's face. And then I, uh, I began to understand that the term gap year doesn't mean anything uh, or has little sort of relevance uh, in North America as it does in Australia. Of course, a gap year uh, straight away means someone in their youth after university taking off and um, taking a gap year backpacking around. But not the case here in North America, let alone the term senior. I mean, they'll look at me and say, well, you're a bit slow. Because senior, it, uh, particularly the US, refers to someone more at the uh, senior high school level. So the other, um, so I thought, well, the, the only way I can do about it is to um, is to create another version of my senior gap year with a new title and a new cover, and that's called the Youthful Art of Midlife Travel. So I'm delighted to uh, to announce this new book. And of course, the other motivation behind doing this book was that. Uh, from a number of uh, feedback that I've uh, received uh, about the book was that um, people after reading the book are now inspiring others about um, stepping outside their comfort zone and, and having the courage to, uh, to live their travel dreams in, in a somewhat more youthful way. So uh, I'm very pleased to, uh, to announce the, uh, the release of the new book and you can get uh, there's a special offer. Look at the website, My City Gap here dot com slash blog and look for the post there's a spe limited time special offer where you can get a free download of the book the youthful art of midlife travel so um so meanwhile we've made across canada to uh, french quebec now just after finally mastering all these little english uh, differences we find ourselves in uh, in quebec of course french speaking quebec uh, bonjour uh, monsieur bonjour bonjour